Trump. Now, do you believe in God? Absolutely. All right, so now we're going to see my brother. Give me head cover. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Because I want to make sure you're not like the average Christian, right? Uh -huh. say they believe. You're not a Christian? I'll uh, pray. Uh, I am a free Christian. So listen, we're going to read the Bible, right? Because a lot of our Christians, they, they say they believe in God, but when it comes down to the laws of God, they run in. Right. Right? So we're going to bring out the Bible and see if you really believe in God. Read. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Read that again. Because let me tell you something. God has his own order he set up. Man in America, you know what they say? Who is the head? The woman. They praise the woman above the man here, right? Right. That's not the way God set it up. That's why the whole earth is out of order. Because this devil right here, they praise women above men. Right. Even in our households. Let me ask you something, right? Right. When you even walk in this, yeah, when you walk in the streets. Absolutely. So listen, listen, listen. I want to show you something, right? When you go amongst our community, right? You go to Walmart, you go to grocery stores, right? You're going to see, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see, now first I'm going to do the other nations. When you go around the other nations, you're going to see the mom, the father, the mom, the children walking with each other. You're going to see a unity in their family, right? You go amongst our community, look around. If you see a family, it's going to be the woman leading, the man walking behind. And most times, it's the woman, the children, then the man. He dragging along. Our household is out of order. God set his order, and this is the order he set up. Read. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Come on, sister. Come on, come on, come on. Just stand along with us real quick. I want you to hear this. You got to hear this. Come on right ahead. Let me show you something. God, God has an order. What's your name, sis? Kimberly. Kimberly. I got to ask you a question, Kimberly. In America, who's the head of the homes here in America? Amongst our community. Oh, um, in America, women. Women. Y'all hey. hear that? Hey. The sister said women hey. is the head of the black man home. That's out of order. Right. That's out of order. Slavery beat that in you. Right. But we're going to find, sister, I need you to listen, though. We're going to find the order of God. How you doing, sister? What's your name? Jasmine. Jasmine. Come on, Jasmine. We got a dialogue today. Hey, y'all just been to learn something today that you never learned in your life. Right. Thank you. Well, hear this real quick. The prayers are always going to be there. This is the word of God. Read. But I'll listen. Hold on, hold on, sister. I got to ask you two as well. I'll pay. I'll say this here. In America today, 2021, who is the head of the black man homes? The women. Uh, the women. We got two sisters agreeing and said the women. Right. Men, y'all got your stuff up. Right. The women is ruling every day here in America. But that's not the order that God set up. So let's read it. We're going to find the order that God put in place. Read. First you believe in God, right? Yes. Sister, sister, sister Kimberly, you believe in God too? I right, stay along now. Read. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Read. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the Bible said the head of the black man is Christ. Right? Yes. You black men are supposed to be following Christ. Right. Yes. You're supposed to be applying the laws like Christ applied the laws we walk the earth. Yes. Right. Christ wasn't no drug dealer. Christ wasn't no gang banger. Christ wasn't no thug. Christ didn't walk around with his pants sagging. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. The Bible said, oh, now this is what I want y'all to hear. Hey, look. Come on, my brother. How you doing, young man? What's going on? What's your name? All right, come on, Dominique. Read it again. But I would have you know this is that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of the black man is supposed to be Christ. Right. This is the order. The black man is supposed to be following the black Christ. Right. Not this so-called devil image that been beating our heads for years, right? Read. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of what? The woman. The head of what? The woman. The woman, right? Sister Kimberly. Sister Kimberly. So y'all women, right? Listen, listen good. The head of, and the head of the woman is the man. The head of you is the man, sister. The, the, the average black women do not want to hear that. Hold it. Don't go nowhere. Read this law real quick. And the head of Christ is God. So the Bible says the head of Christ is God. It's an order. It's an order. Christ is in order. The black man, the Latin man, the Hispanic man is out of order today.
today. Right. Right? Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So when we are praying to the black God, when we are prophesying, going over scriptures, reading the Bible, dialoguing, what must happen? Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. My brother, who is your head? It's Christ. So right now you are dishonoring the black Messiah. What are you supposed to do, my brother, if you fear God? If you fear God, you say you believe in God, right? The scriptures is coming out. What are you supposed to do with that head cover you got on? As long as I'm not reading out of the scripture. No, 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 no. Give me out of Revelation. Let's get what prophesizing is. Revelation. Brother, you say you believe in God. Come on, man. I thought we was on the same page, bro. Read that. Revelation Read. chapter 19, verse 10. Read. And I fell at his feet to worship him. Read. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. What is the testimonies of Jesus? This Bible. Right. This Bible. This Bible. This Bible is the testimonies of Jesus. So when we are reading the Bible, right. we are going over scriptures in the Bible, we are prophesying. Right. If you believe in God, what are you going to do, my brother? See, this was wrong with the black man today. Right. Read that. The Willie Lynch letter, Listen, The Making of a up. Slave, page 15. When it comes Listen to, to breaking the uncivilized nigger, use the same process, but vary the degree and step up the pressure so as to do a complete reversal of the mind. You see that, my brother? Read it again, read it again. When it comes to breaking the uncivilized nigger. This is what he was trying to say. You destroy the head, you got the body. Right? Read. When it comes to breaking the uncivilized nigger, use the same process, but vary the degree and step up the pressure so as to do a complete reversal of the mind. So, listen, the uncivilized nigger will be the one who do not understand the Bible. Right? So the black man, this is what they did to the black man, right? They destroyed him. They did first put psychology up on that black man. Right. So what he did, just like you said, well, you know what? I can still wear this and all that. They destroyed you in slavery. They lied to you. They, they, they set up everything that they could to destroy the black man. Once they destroyed, cut down the black man, they buffed up the woman. They made her God. They gave her everything. That's why today, even in society, She's still on top. She gets the jobs. Read on. Take the meanest and most restless nigger. Strip him of his clothes in front of the remaining male nigger. Stop. So this is what they did how to cut down the black man. To put fear in the black man. Not to rise up for anything. They stripped the black man clothes. Everything off him. In front of the other men. Right. Read. Women and children. Read. The female and the nigger infant tar and feather him. Tie each leg to a different horse. Stop. So it took the man like you, right? They get the biggest Negro amongst the black uh, man, right? They tie him up his legs to one horse, right? Read on. And the nigger infant tar and feather him, tie each leg to a different horse. So they tie one leg to one horse, one leg to the other horse. Imagine you got the women and children sitting here watching. Little babies, other men sitting here watching. This big man that they are uh, like Brian James, right? Everybody respect this man. 200 some pounds, you know what I'm saying? This is what they did. Read. Faced in opposite directions. Set him on fire. They lit him on fire while he was tied to the horses. Y'all don't hear this history in school. Right. They don't teach you these things in church. Right. Read. And beat both horses to pull him apart. So now they hit the horses with the whip. With the whip. What's going to happen? They finna run different directions, right? But you remember, his legs are still tied up to each horse. Read. Pull him apart in front of the remaining niggers. So they ripped his legs apart from his body in front of all the men, the women, and children. Right. Imagine what fear that's going to put up on the next man. They're going to see that like, no, I'm not rising against master. I'm keeping my mouth shut. I don't want that to happen to me. That's how they put fear in the black man. Right. That's why today in 2021, the man won't stand up for nothing. The women is louder than the men. Right. The man is afraid to speak because of this. This was well planned. But you said you believe in God, right? So I want to show you something, sis. Read this. 
Deuteronomy chapter 22, Sister verse Kimberly, listen to verse five. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Read again from the top. Listen, this is a law. This is something that this devil said it's okay for women to do. The Bible says no, it's not. It's against God's laws. Right. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You're a woman, right? You're a woman, right, sis? Right? She a woman, right? Well, a little girl, but she's going to be a woman, right? The Bible says a woman should not wear which pertaineth unto a man. I want y'all to think. I need something. What's something you got on that we got on? Pants. Pants. Say it again. The black woman not supposed to be wearing pants according to the Bible. Right. Why is the church is not teaching us this? You have to wear yeah, so, so what happened? But that was back then. Yeah. Some of our women still, they still taught that custom. Now as you get older, later in the years, no, they don't teach that. It's okay. Right. The Bible says, read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You're not supposed to be wearing pants, sister. Right. Sister, and even your daughter. God didn't dress this for you. When you put on pants, there's a spirit that comes behind that. And what is that spirit? Huh? Come on. There we say it again. It's a masculine spirit comes right. behind that. That's why God is saying, no, you're not supposed to be doing that, sis. Right. If you believe in God, you are not going to do that. You're going to apply the laws of God. Because women, like they say, who are the pants in the house? Right? That's what's going on. The women put on that, they catch a spirit. Right. And it also sh show the curves, the shape of her body, right. it caused her and lust, all that amongst our community. Yeah. Just because of that. If a woman, you take two women down the street, one woman got tight pants, the other woman got a dress, and walk through a neighborhood, who do you think our people is gonna look at and lust out there and follow behind, make comments to? The one with the pants. Right. The dress, they're going to be like, ah, I know her. They're going to chase the one with the pants. A woman not supposed to be wearing that. A right. man's supposed to be modest up on her. A right. man should not be seeing your shape, your curves, sis. That's to your husband. Right. Please. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So the Bible says a man should not be wearing what? What is something a woman wear that a man should not supposed to be wearing? Say what? A dress. But you got a lot of these feminine, homosexuality men walk around here putting on dress. Right. Kanye West, give me some more. Shanae, Shanae, Martin Lawrence, Tyler Perry, all of them wearing dresses. That is abomination to God. The right. Rappers. Who? The rappers. The rappers. Now they do it. It's, it's a thing now. Right. They teach you to rap it in dresses. That's abomination, man. Yeah. Read. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 24. And it shall come to pass. That instead of sweet smell, listen, there listen, shall listen, be listen, stink. Listen, I want you to hear this real quick. This is because of the black women rebelled against God. Right. This is a future prophecy that's going to come to pass. Read. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. Listen, sister. When women wear pants, it's more likely that they will catch, what is that? It's Peace that affection. Believe it or not. That's why women should not. They need to breathe down there. Right. It's 90, 100 some degrees and they're wearing these tight jeans. Read it again for the sister. And it shall come to pass. Don't forget this, sis. That Please. instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. Because there was a one point of time our foremothers smelled good down there. They took care of this stuff because they wore a dress. They can breathe down there. Today, oh my goodness. Right. Read it again. This is what you got today in the black woman. Read. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. 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 The black woman, if you stink in the private there, it's because you wear a pants. Right. You're yeah. against the laws of God. That's right. God telling you clearly that's why a woman was not meant to be wearing pants. That's right. We got zippers on our pants for what reason? Why? Women don't do that. They sit right down. Okay, one more, one more. Can you hear this one scripture, sis? One more. It was a, last scripture. Read that. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Listen. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Read it again, 
sister, this is what you got to do. Now, you learned what God requires of you. Right. You learned that you ain't supposed to be wearing pants. You learned the order of women, right? right. Listen, this is what you got to do. Read it again. Repent! The Bible says you got to repent. Do you know what repent means? You got to feel sorry for what you've been doing. Please. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Converted means to what, sir? It's a change, right? When you take that cell phone plug and you put it in a wall, you got 120 volts coming out that wall and it trans to what? Like a 3.5 or 2 volts to charge your phone. It converts. Change. Change. You got to change. How you change? By now wearing a dress. What? Right. Right? By now being feminine. If you got a husband, submit to him. If he pray in the laws of God. Right. Please. That your sins may be blotted out with the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Your sins, sis, your sins was wearing pants. Right? So if you want that to be forgiven for you, you got to repent. Because right. the black Messiah is on his way. Right. A lot of people is going to die. Right. right. They ain't gonna be no more in California. They ain't gonna be no more Texas. They ain't gonna be no more Atlanta. They ain't gonna be no more Chicago. Everything is gonna be on fire. And if you wanna make it through that fire, sis, you gotta do what? You gotta repent. Teach that to your daughter. Because you is gonna decide the next generation of women, how are they gonna be? Right. used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.